Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be playing a new game that I got, Car Mechanics Simulator. Now, I'm going to start a new game. I have been playing this game. I got this game actually on the 4th of July. And I wanted to do content on it, but the problem is I got playing it and I couldn't stop. And I got a little far. So, I didn't want to start on that one. So, we're going to just start a new game. And we're going to start all over again. So. Okay. Cool. So. Normal game mode. I don't know what expert mode is, but we're going to go game mode without tutorial. Now, this will be the last time that you see this load screen. I just wanted to throw it up there to let you all know if you're playing this and if you buy this game. The load times are a little extreme, I feel. Especially the load times when you when you first boot the game up. Come on. So I'm really hoping we can skip the tutorial because yes, we did. Okay. So I just want to say first of all that I skipped the tutorial because basically the tutorial all it does is just it just tells you what everything in the shop is like you know your tire changer wheel balancer the lift it, it just tells you stuff like that and i mean this stuff that if you play the game you can you can go through that yourself i imagine if you play this game you probably know a little bit about cars anyway so you pretty much know what everything is i would imagine so this is the shop guys this is it this is where we're going to be working this is where we're going to be getting our hands dirty so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the phone, check out our messages. So we got this here, uh, Katagiri, I'm not pronouncing that, uh, it's got brake problems and this is provided. And the ones in blue, are, they are a story order. Um, now I'm not 100% sure what these story orders are about, it doesn't seem like you get any more experience or, or cash from them, they just don't go away. And you get a little better job description. So we're probably going to do this one first. Let's see what it says. It says here, A year and a half ago, I bought this car for my son. He said that he's not interested in anything except driving it occasionally. Driving it and occasionally filling it up at the gas station. Please check the oil and the tires. So, just occasionally, huh? So I guess he's not planning on driving too far if he's only going to fill it up occasionally. There we go. Okay, so. Now the fun. Here's the car we get to work on. So we're going to open up this menu and we're going to take a look at the car status. Air filter, tires, and fuel filter. And, of course, change the oil. So. Let's move this over to the lift. Let's get to work, shall we? So, first things first, we're going to get in here, we're going to check out this fuel filter. There it is. Get that out of there. Raise this bad boy up. I don't know what's with the rust on these cars, but man. And one more time. <clears throat> All right. Go over here, get our oil drain, move that to car lift A, and let's drain the oil out of that. Okay, doing that, let's take care of these tires. Move that back where it goes. Get that out of my way. Let's see here. How's the oil filter in this thing? Uh, hmm. Oil filter. Oil filter looks good, actually. Now, just for the hell of it here. 
He's gonna end by taking off the car. Okay. Um, it looks all right. Yeah, it's all right. Now that's kind of a strange thing about the game because you would never really change your oil without changing the oil filter. But I guess in the game it's uh, it's normal practice. I guess we're kind of a shady mechanic. Okay, so, man, those don't look good at all, but you don't want that. Get all these wheels off. One more. All right. Let's get these over the tire changer. Separate that. Come back over here. Might as well put that fuel filter back on. All right, there's that there. Take that. Do the next one. Oops, wrong button. Ha, ah, wrong one. Let's lower this back down. Go over to our computer here. And we're going to pick up a fuel filter. That's the one. There we go. Go over to the car, get in the engine here. Mount parts. Beautiful. Okay, now put some oil in this. Now, what I found with the oil is that it'll go back down. Right there. A little bit more, and you're done. And I think I'm the only one that does this, but I like to check the dipstick to see. And it's perfect. Look at that. Beautiful. Alright, so that's done. So, hoist that back up. Take that. Separate. Accept. Okay, now. Standard tire B, 205, 55, R16, we're going to add that to the list. One, two, three, four. Four of those. Take that tire. Separate that one. So we might as well just wait till that gets done and we'll take that. Alright. Back to the computer we go. Look at this old ass computer. My god. <laughs> Whatever works, I guess. Alright, so back out. Go to the tire shop. Open the shopping list. Standard tire B. Standard tire B. Four. Size. Oh, it doesn't tell me the size. Hmm. Okay. Two five fifty five sixteen. Two five. Oops. Fifty five. Sixteen. Okay. Buy those. That kind of sucks. It's. I have a good memory with this game. I'll tell ya. Okay. Join that. 
Look at those nice new, nice new tires there. Get you balanced. Yes, please. Join another one. I actually did this for a living for a little while. I worked at an oil and lube place. Whoops. A lot of fun, actually. It was a, a job I enjoyed a lot. Changing oil and fixing tires, rotating and balancing, putting tires on rims. Good stuff. All right, this is our last one. Come on, bouncer, you're being slow. That one must have needed a couple weights. Okay, take you. Take you. And balance our last one. So then, all we had to do was mount these back on the car, and that should be our first job on the books. We'll balance in those, take a little time sometimes. Alrighty. Personally, this was my car. I would probably definitely check those brakes, but hey, that's just me. I mean, they look pretty darn rusted. Then again, there's a lot of rust all over this car, I guess. <laughs> Those all mounted. That's our last one, and let's check real quick. Air filter. Haha, <laughs> okay. See that? It's always something. There's always something that I forget. Air filter's not a big deal. Here and take okay. Let's get these clips off. Come on. There we go. Spin this around and get these back clips. This, these analog sticks are kind of a pain in the ass with this, but... Alright. Okay. Oh. Air filter. 1%. Wow, dude. Like, should have changed it a long time ago. Long time ago. So, actually, I think I gotta back out and go back into the parts. Air. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna mount that. Get that filter in there. Put the cover back on. Whoops. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Get the back clips, of course. Nah, come on. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, now with that, I think that is done. Job number one. Let's take a look. Finish order. We spent $963. Uh, we got a task bonus of 917, a job bonus of 471, and our total payout is 2,251. So, that seems like a lot of money. That seems like a lot of money. We're a very, very ridiculous mechanic. We charge a lot of money, but you get what you pay for, I guess. So, let's get this out the door. All right. First job done. So let's go back over to the phones. And see what else we got here. This one. Brake system needs fixing. Brake problems. List provided. It's 14. That's a turbocharged. That's not. Says, uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Both brake jobs. Both have lists provided. So. Alright. Let's just take this one. If the load times weren't so heavy, we might be able to get both of these cars. I don't know. We'll see. We will try. Ooh. Look at this. Fancy paint job. Okay. Move car. Sweet. We can move that one in. So, look at this paint job. Ha! <laughs> That's funky. All right. So, I think what we're going to do is I think we're going to fix this car. And then I think we're going to call that an episode. ABS pump, brake caliper, brake disc ventilated, brake pads. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over and we're going to track this one, this one, and that one. So let's get in here first and let's get that ABS pulled. Should be... CBS, CBS, where are ya? Module? Okay, the pump. Okay, it's not let me take that off. Do I have to take off the battery to get to that? That doesn't, no. Accessible from engine bay. Am I not in the engine bay? <laughs> okay. Engine. Maybe I wasn't. Nope. Okay. Apparently I wasn't. This module's good, though, with that pump that's got to go. This is the culprit. Okay, there we go. Actually, you know what? If I don't put this car battery back, I'm going to forget all about it. So I might as well just put it back while I'm thinking about it. There we go. Let's get this bad boy raised up. It's a very cool paint job. I like that. I, uh... I always wanted a guitar painted like that. That'd be awesome. All right, so let's see here. I think it's this one, anyway. Suspension. Yep, that's our caliper. That's no good. Get this tire off. Get that bad caliper off there. Don't want a caliper hanging up on you. Burn out your pads, ruin your rotor, which... Break this friendly. It's funny that they don't call these rotors, so I don't think. Okay, and these are also the pads that need to go, so sweet. Okay, so let's take this one off. I just want to track these parts because I don't want to be taking off everything. Every tire if I don't have to. So that's got to go. 
Okay, those brake pads are good. Okay, so... ABS pump, brake caliper, brake disc ventilated, brake pads. Brake pads. Hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wrong way. So did I get brake pads that were no good? Hmm. I'm not seeing brake pads. Did I not highlight those? I did highlight those. Hmm. So I don't see those highlighted in blue. All I see is the caliper, the disc brake, but I don't see pads. Hmm. Well, let's just go in here real quick and see. Okay. So that pad's no good. We took that pad off. Alright, so add that to the shopping list. Brake caliper. One of those. And ABS pump. Okay, let's go on to our computer over here and get these express shipped. Let's go over to brakes. ABS pump, one. Brake caliper, one. Brake pad, one. And brake disc ventilated, one. I didn't even need the list this time. That's That was pretty good. This is a pretty easy one, I guess. All right, so let's get back under here. Let's. Nope. We want to mount parts. Okay, so brake pads. Um, okay, we'll put the new one here, I guess. I've never seen yet where the brake caliper cylinder needs to be replaced, so. I think in real life, I would replace both. <laughs> It'd be kind of silly. Not to, but brake disc ventilated. Okay, I didn't take it off that one. Okay, put that tire back on. All right, nice and smooth. That's that's how I like it. That's how I like the jobs to go. Okay, so brake disc ventilated. Nice and shiny. Look at that. That looks great. Uh, brick pad. Why is that not? Okay, brick pads. That one on. Uh, that's that makes no sense to put almost half worn brake pad on <laughs> when you just put a brand new brake pad on. And this is well, seventy percent. That's not too bad, I guess. So we'll put that back on. Yeah, I guess you fix what you can afford. That is that is my motto anyway. Okay, so I think we got all that. Let's take a look and see. Fix, fix. All right, ABS pump is the only thing we have. So we must as well just bring this right down to the ground. In the engine. Get to our mount parts menu here, and... Nice shiny new ABS pump. And a slightly used module, but hey. These things are probably expensive, I wouldn't doubt. Alright. So, that's it. That is our second car. Done. Check the status. Everything's fixed. Wow. We spent $1,143.
got a task bonus of 285, job bonus of 285, and our total payout is 1,713. I mean, that is not a very good profit for us at all, I gotta say. So, get you out of here. Okay, that was a little slow. All right, guys, so I think that's where we're going to end this episode today. Um, I'm liking this game a lot, so I'm definitely going to have more content uh, coming to the channel. This is the next thing we're going to be fixing, this uh, this god-awful, hideous-looking thing. <laughs> What's wrong with this again? Breaks again, right? All right, this ain't going to take long at all. Um, you know what? Actually, let's do it. This ain't going to take long, so we'll just throw it up there. And this is all... Okay, so... Get it done really quick so we're not trying to scramble to see. I don't really want to take off every dang tire. So we got front tire and two back tires, it looks like. Alright, so let's get this off. So, I've been waiting a long time for this game to come to the console. I've been watching videos um, on this game on, on PC a lot. And one of the things that PC has is they have some DLC. Um, with like Dodge and Ford and stuff like that. And I'm really hoping that those DLCs will come to console. I think that would be great. You know, and another thing I was thinking that would be really awesome on this game that uh, me and uh, a buddy of mine were talking about. Um, is some kind of multiplayer element. You know, like, uh, it'd be cool if you could buy cars and you could sell them to your friends and they could buy cars and stuff like that and you could kind of race each other and stuff. I think that'd be cool. Definitely think that would be awesome. Just FYI, for anybody that hasn't played this game yet, um, you can drive these cars. Uh, this is not a driving game. The, uh, the physics and such in this game are pretty horrendous. <laughs> but it's still a lot of fun. I haven't taken any cars on the racetrack yet or anything like that, but... Break this. Okay, so... That's that. So what do we need here? We only need a couple things. Ventilated pads and a disc. All right. Let's see if I can remember three things here. So, disc. Whoops. Break disc ventilated. And a pad. Yeah. That sounds about right. Put this bad boy back together. Break disc. Go, put the brake pads back on. Yeah, we'll put that one back there. Again, like the only thing that bugs me about this game is that, you know, why would you not just put new pads on all the way around? I don't know. You know, I mean, brakes are like the most important safety device <laughs> you could have on your car. Uh, maybe that's just my opinion. I don't know. But yeah, it's, that would be me anyway. Like this. Ugh, look at that brake test. That just bugs me. That looks terrible. 
even these calipers don't look great. I mean, they're over half, but... They look a lot worse than they are, apparently. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> what was... Did I even need to take this off for anything? Was there anything on this one? Hmm. No! I don't want to move the car. What the hell am I doing? Um... Why did I take anything off this one? Oh, okay. Yeah. The ventilated. Duh. <laughs> All right. There we go. Reds. Oh. Hmm. Wait, was there more I needed? Brake pads. Okay, everything's done. I thought there was something over there on that side. Oh, no, that wheel's not even off. Jeez. Okay, now I'm just losing my mind. Um. Yep. This would be definitely a good, a good car to stop because uh, I'm just, I don't know. I did three cars and I'm already shot, apparently. <laughs> okay, so. Let's take a look. It's done. Let's get this ugly-ass car off my lift. Get it on the ground. And get it the hell out of my garage. Finish order. $295. God, that was even worth it. Oh, cool. We're level 2 now. So, before I end, we'll go over to the toolbox. So, we have one skill point. We can either get level 1, Eagle Eye, 50% faster part examination, 50% faster screwing and unscrewing. That just sounds kind of dirty, doesn't it? But, <laughs> um... Yeah, no, I think we'll take this one. 50% faster part examination. That seems pretty cool, so we'll take that. All right, guys, so that was the first day in the new shop. I really enjoy the game. I think it's really good. I think it's great to see something different on, uh, on console for a change. Um, I'm really hoping that, that things are going to turn around with console and we're going to get more games like this and more simulator-type games. Um, you know, Bus Simulator is going to be coming out sometime in the summer, I guess. Um, you got that Truck Driver game coming out in the fall that I'm still on the fence about. I mean, I would really love to see, like, an ETS or ATS-style game. If not, ATS or, e ATS or ETS come to console. But, um... You know, I think this is a big step forward for uh, developers that are making games for PC um, to kind of come over to the console and understand that, you know, we do want games like this. You know, uh, console gamers, we're, we're not just all about, you know, the Assassin's Creed and stuff like that, which I am, don't get me wrong, but also games like this, man, is just, you know, really enjoyable and different, and I like it a lot. So... If you like this video, uh, why don't you do me a favor and hit that like button. Uh, hit subscribe. What's that? Oh, yeah, that's music. Oh, never mind. Um, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content. And, uh, <laughs> hey, I'll see you next time in the garage, guys. And hopefully we'll have more cars to fix. Later. <laughs>